to reduce that debt by half over four years <coughs> in a civilized way that sustains commitment to the essential public services and indeed the employment uh, in those and this, services. You, this, this okay. is the dividing line. It's when the cuts start. Right. This is the, this and is the political how, divide. And how, yeah. they're done. and how they're done. When yeah. it comes to tax credit, for instance, Cameron's party voted against, against it, them, yeah. but they are in favour of reductions in inheritance tax that will only benefit the very richest people ah, in this country. But the thing now, is, when he announced that, when George Osborne announced that at the election, uh, at their conference two years ago, the polls went like that and changed in, his, in, his, in the Tories' favour. Yeah. And Gordon Brown looked at those. And they changed in the Tories' favour for one reason, and a reason that the, the Labour Party never used to understand this word. They do far more now. Aspiration. Don't understand it. I'm the son of a miner, and I went to university, and I went there because the community helped me. Don't understand the aspiration. You've got a bloody cheek to say that. We know more about aspiration than any millionaire's kid who was in the Bullingdon Club. They don't know what aspiration is. They were born there. We had to fight our way up, and people in this country are still fighting their way up. To their credit, we understand aspiration. Nobody understands aspiration better than people who come from modest backgrounds and want to build for themselves, and particularly their children, a better future. That is at the centre, the core of Labour's values. It's great to see this passion, Lord Kinnock, but th why, did the poll, why did the opinion poll shift after George Osborne it's made that announcement? and people thought... But, or was it not to do... I no, didn't, I didn't mean that you never... But please, let, let me explain. I didn't mean that you never understood aspiration. There were elements in the Labour Party, a Labour Party which you yeah. started to and what, change. And do you understand I what do I'm saying? Them? What did I do with those people? But do you understand do you what, know what I meant? I did with those yes. people? Yes. What did okay. you do with those people? Well, I had the guts to change my party, yeah. which is more than Cameron's evident. Yeah. Well, hasn't he changed his party? No, he hasn't. He's got a lot of sound bites. If you look at them on tax, if you look at them on public expenditure, support for the health service, support for education... Sorry about that noise, by the way. Europe, <laughs> they haven't changed the damn thing. Yeah. And the reason is this. This is a guy, he's quite a decent guy, he's certainly an intelligent guy, but he daren't be profound about policy because the moment he said something substantial, he splits his party. That's why we've got this skidding off the surface all the time. People can't vote for that. Certainly not in these times of recession and climate change and... and Difficulties of various kinds. You need somebody serious and substantial, not Cameron. I'll tell you what, um, if we had more politicians these days of whatever party showing the sort of passion we just heard from Lord Kinnock, don't you think, Emily it's Ben? It's incredibly inspiring. No, it's in incredibly inspiring. I mean, whether you agree with them or not, I mean, that just, just, no, to, hear that, just to hear that belief from a politician. Well, it, I'm a, a great admirer of Lord Kinnock and, and everything he did for the Labour Party and the kind of passion, commitment and that he shows, uh, he has shown to the Labour Party over so many years is, is a complete inspiration to the next generation of Labour politicians. Well, on top of that, yesterday Gordon made it clear we're going to have a more democratic House of Lords so I can vote myself out of there, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. That's the reason I went in there, to get the dem democratic change. And it's on its way. Everybody's got to offer that promise to the nation because our democracy desperately needs strengthening. Desperately. Well, listen, thank you. We're, we're going to change the shift now. I want to thank you as ever. Lord Kinnock, for your contributions. Thank you, Nikki. All the best. And Emily Benn, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We're discussing the Labour Party conference. We're discussing Gordon Brown's speech. We're discussing Gordon Brown and the electoral prospects of the Labour Party. Has he done enough to convince you? We're joined by...